Informal channels of negotiation are the best hope right now for the Russia-Ukraine conflict to avoid dangerous escalation and mitigate some of the worst effects of the conflict. 12 on Asia Times, David Lewis, Professor of International Relations at the University of Exeter, UK, analyzed the situation of fight and talk in the current Russia-Ukraine conflict. According to Professor David Lewis, although although the behind-the-scenes deals between Russia and Ukraine are limited to nuclear security, fertilizer exports, and prisoner exchanges, they also show how informal negotiations can mitigate these scenarios. At the summit of the world's leading group of developed and emerging economies, G20, in Bali, Indonesia last November, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky announced a new 10-point plan to end the war. He asked for nothing but the withdrawal of Russian troops from all of Ukraine, including the Crimean Peninsula and other parts of the country occupied by Russia since 2014. Latest opinion polls shows that 85% of Ukrainians support this uncompromising stance of Mr. Zelensky. However, Russia's position is equally tough. President Vladimir Putin is adamant that any political solution will have to be based on facts taking shape on the ground. Moscow wants to force Kiev to recognize Russia's occupation of nearly 20% of Ukraine's territory. Professor David Lewis said that currently Ukrainian generals are concerned about a new Russian attack. But this does not mean that the two sides do not dialogue with each other. There have been secret negotiations on a wide range of issues, with the mediation of Turkey, the United Arab Emirates, UAE, and Saudi Arabia. According to Professor David Lewis, Abu Dhabi and Ankara are like Helsinki and Vienna of this new Cold War. Those are the cities where Russian, Ukrainian and Western diplomats, businessmen, and spies can easily meet without being noticed by the media.